Hi, I'm Bonnie, introducing Liam Hallett from The Prodigy. Uh -huh. Hi, again. <laughs> um, taking a look at your video in just a few minutes, but first I want to talk to you about the recording process of your record, because this is obviously a live experience in, in a really big way, but what's it like in the studio? You're virtually by yourself. Well, I'm by myself, yeah. Um, but I brought all the stuff in my own studio and produce, mix, engineer, the whole lot myself. Um, I've had the studio for about a year now, I've just built it up since obviously um, the success of Charlie and the other records and just put a lot of money into it and just um, hope you know, to carry on to be the home of all the Prodigy records. Where, where is the studio? It's in Braintree, and it's where we live, just outside of London. And what's it like? I mean, what's, what do you like your atmosphere? It's small. Um, all the equipment I've got in there does its job, you know, it's like, um, it's not obviously like really, really professional, it's just what I need to produce this type of music, you know, um, but it's small, it's literally like bedroom size, you know, but it's um, professional. Is there, is there a reason for that size? I mean, do you think that there's a proximity there might help? Um, well, I'm not looking to sort of get bands in to record, I'm just, it's literally just for me, you know, so I'm not sort of like, um, looking to sort of like open a studio and produce bands, it's literally just for the prodigy, so it doesn't need to be any bigger really, you know, it's a lot. What are some samples and other new forms of music that we should be listening for? Encouraging people to buy your record here, obviously, to listen to, experience. Um, what do you mean exactly? Well, just what are some favorite, I know, for example, there's a Max Romeo sample on you know, Out of Space over I mean, here. As far as samples go, I really don't like using big chunks of other people's records, but um, I think with the Out of Space thing, that was just a kind of like um, a different thing for the Prodigy because it was such a big chunk of another person's record that I felt almost guilty for doing it, you know. <laughs> and um, But I felt I could change the song enough for it to be different enough, you know. And um, we obviously had to clear the sample with Max Romeo. Um, but I think I changed the sample enough, you know, musically to make it different from the original song, so that was kind of alright. Yeah, it's great. We've well, got a band together now that um, we see in the video and obviously that you're playing with them. What what do you see their role in future recordings being? Um, well, at the moment, the band really doesn't have anything to do with recording, it's just literally myself. Um, the band is for the live side of the prodigy, which um, is really, really important because um, that's the way we've built ourselves over the last um, two years, in, especially in England, you know, literally playing every week, different PAs, two or three gigs a week. And um, the whole thing is sort of like put the energy across because when I'm on stage dancing, when I'm on stage dancing, I obviously can't, when I'm on stage playing the keyboard, sorry, I obviously can't dance and run about with the microphone like Moby does. <laughs> and so um, I've chosen dances that I, I thought that. Well, I know that um, get the crowd going and the MC, you know, it's just the whole thing's like energy, raw energy on stage. You know. What do you do? Your, your music is obviously very technically precise, and are you able to vary that in your live shows at all? Yeah, I mean, um, I don't ever like to sort of like mime to the records because that'd be a waste of time, so, um, and it's impossible to play totally live because I'd need so much equipment on stage, literally, literally need the whole studio, you know, <laughs> travelling around, so, um, we change the song, I change the song enough to make it different and interesting to the people listening. You know? Is it different every night or do you...? Yeah, we try and make it different. I mean, with the dancing and the sort of like, the way the MC might come up to me and say, play the beat or whatever, you know, it's different. We sort of work together and it makes it different, you know, it's, it's good, it makes it live and spontaneous. So, I know that I've read incredible reviews of shows in England with tens of thousands of people you know, dancing and raving and I want to know what the um, U.S. experience is like over here. I mean, do we have any clue in terms of raving? Is, is there any hope over yeah. here? I don't think, you know, there's such things like a clue in raving. It's just, <laughs> if you know, to have a good time and want to dance to the music, that's all you need to know. Do you know what I mean? It's like, um, we played clubs and the crowds have been equally as good as English crowds, just not as big. I mean, the techno thing and the dancing in England is literally as big as country and western is in America. You know, it's like so big and um, there's like 100,000 people going out in England every week, going to these parties and raves and stuff. And I don't know, we're just like really lucky to be in England and <laughs> be part of it, really. Yeah. yeah, starting it. Music changes a lot, um, and I think that this form of music 
is always changing and evolving. And what do you see your role in that is? And do you have any ideas? I guess I'm just trying to ask you, what do you think, what comes next for you? What kind of music? Um, well, as far as the sort of like American market goes, I think the people in America are more into the sort of like trancey side of techno. And, um, I'm not going to suddenly change the style I've been used to for the last two, three years just to sort of like fit in, but it's important to sort of like make music that appeals to a lot of people, but at the same time, you know, to sort of like not change the style of music I like listening to myself. Um, with the, the English and the, the English side of things, it's more of a, a breakbeat thing, you know, and, um, people like listen to the hip hop beats and stuff in the techno. Um, so if it means writing an EP, especially for America to fit in with that market, then you know, that's what I'll do. That's great, thanks. To get it exposed. Well, I want to, we're going to look at this video, but there are a couple of questions, because they're, they're, it's very fun. One, where did you film it, and I mean, how do you, go ahead, tell me where you filmed it. Which video first? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, we're going to look at out of, out of Space. Right, okay. Um, out of Space was filmed in my garden. <laughs> my house. Now you know where he lives. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to tell you. It's just in Essex, just in, um, we live right in the middle of the country, and it's just like, um, we've got the video up in the, um, down to where we live. It's right in the sticks in the country, and we just thought it was a bit different, because in previous videos, we sort of like had, um, we shot everybody in the place in New York on top of a building, um, and in the streets of New York, and um, Charlie was literally in the studio, and um, footage from live PAs were done. Um, fire was on top of a Welsh mountain, so I don't know, we sort of like, it's just around our area, you know, really. It's kind of a sort of like interesting video. Well, it's nice to see you at home that way. Yeah. How do you feel about making videos? Is it important to your music? Um, I think it's more important to the America side of things because obviously you've got MTV and, well, we haven't got to that stage or anything, but you know, when it comes to when it comes to America, I think the, the whole video thing, the way rock groups sort of like have videos, you know, the videos sell the records, you know, and for us, it's, the music comes first in a way, so we don't really, don't really, really um, think about the video too much until the song's finished and, you know, the, the song's the main thing, if the song's strong, then we sort of think of a video that can go with the song, you know. That's true. All right, I want to take a look, and we should probably let you go, because you got a show to play, all right? right? Yeah. Thanks for saying hi. Thanks You're going to watch Out of Space, and this is Liam. Nice Thanks to meet you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thanks.